30 second timeout. Well, Stinchula makes this free throw. Herndon, they have 11 seconds time, but they've got to come down and get a three point shot real quick. Well, and also, you got to make sure the right guy has the shot. And I saw this last night. If you don't put the ball in yeah, the hands true. of your Good best point. player at the end, which is either the best at free, three point shooter, is either Dorian Johnson or Ken Auslander, that's a mistake. You just can't let anybody else shoot that. So, you know, that, that's got to be something on the minds of these guys is hey, let's give ourselves the best chance to win. Now, if you got no time left, you got to fire it up, you do it. But yeah. with 11 seconds, you should have time to get it in the hands of the right guy. Where's Stinchula? And he makes it. Swift. Three-point lead. Austin now with eight seconds. He'll be the shooter. Looking for it. Takes the shot. Three. Oh, Three throws. Oh, my. What a huge break for Herndon with 1.6 left. That is huge right there. Watch this again. Yeah, I think he wants foul ball. Austin didn't want to have to shoot it. Didn't look like he's trying to get it over to Auslander or Johnson then just said, hey, I'm running out of time. We talk about drama now. Brandon Austin to tie the game. And the first one's in. You find out what you're made of right here. Substitution, nope, timeout called. You know, it's almost poetic justice for Herndon. They've really uh, put themselves at a terrible disadvantage late in this game with missed free throws. So what happens? You've got to make three free throws with 1.6 seconds left to tie the game. We'll keep it right here. Full timeout. We'll go back and maybe you can see that last play there one more time. This is Austin bringing it up. And Andy, you talked about getting Auslander or Dorian Johnson. They tried. They couldn't do it. Auslander was trying to come around. You know, that's one of those plays there where you just don't want to. You don't want to foul. There's no reason to foul there. If the guy no. makes it, you're tied, right? If he misses it, you win the game. So you don't want to have to. Put him on the line for three. It's a tough shot with all the pressure on him. But you talk about pressure right here. Brandon Austin has to make these two free throws coming up to tie this game. I mean, this is pressure right here, George. I wonder what the chances are that he thought he'd be in this position two months ago when he was in New Jersey. Second free throw. Perfect. 62-61. He didn't hesitate, did he? No, he didn't. It all rides right here. Just under two seconds left. And he, he misses it. He misses it. Four tenths of a second left. The Woodson crowd storms the court, but they got to get back. Well, this game is all but over. I don't know how you get a ball. Now, is it going to be a foul, a foul shot here? If it's a foul shot, whether you make it or miss it, Herndon's got to either get a rebound or inbound the ball in .4 seconds. Now, .4 seconds is enough time to catch a ball and chuck it. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> they just called a technical foul on Woodson for storming the court. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh brother. You talk about drama. Technical foul against the pitch for the Cavaliers. 
Oh my goodness. That's big. Free throw. Now oh, gonna, this could be. Now they're going to have a chance to tie or win. Ooh, ouch. And that one runs around and in. Foul. You get two shots, do you not? And the ball. And you get the ball, but most important, there's only four tenths of a second left. You but get two shots. Now you get to choose who you want to take the free throws. Which will be Dorian Johnson. Dorian Johnson, the best free throw shooter on this team, it looks like here. Let's double check that. Yes, he's an 83% free throw shooter. So you can bet number four is going to take these two shots. Now, that gives... Hearn in a chance to tie it. We could have to go to double overtime, but again. But then you do inbound the ball at half court, yes. I believe. And you have a chance to turn and shoot. So you do, in point four seconds, you can catch, turn, and shoot. This oh my goodness. has been filled with drama down the last couple of minutes here. But it all rides on these free throws for Dorian Johnson. Two free throws with nobody standing on the lane. His home team crowd right in front of him. And he makes the first. I don't know that I've ever encountered drama like this, have you? Never, I've never seen a technical foul call on, on a team's fans influencing the game like this. Here's Johnson's second one. And he misses it. He missed it. So it's a one-point lead for Woodson, and now a timeout called for Herndon. Oh, holy cow. Timeout. is the final charge. Timeout. It is in 30 seconds. And this is what we just saw a moment ago. First one barely in. You just talk about pressure. I don't think anybody can really relate here on what Dorian Johnson is feeling right at this moment. I mean, this is incredible stuff. This doesn't happen very often. All right. Same Let's, with Brandon Austin a moment ago. Yeah, it's going to be inbounded at half court right in front of our table. Trayvon Wright is going to throw the ball in. Whoever catches the ball shoots the ball. Wright's trying to throw it. Here's Austin, and that one tipped away, and Woodson wins it. Woodson wins it. Sixty-three to sixty-two in overtime. Pandemonium here. As the Cavs advance to the Final Four once again. You know, Andy, I really would have hated to see Woodson lose this game under the circumstances of the fans storming the court with .4 seconds left and getting a technical foul call as a result. Well, the Cavaliers found a way to pull it out. Let's watch that last play one more time. Wright was running out of time. He was going to have a problem with a five-second call if he couldn't get rid of it. So he just throws it up. Austin couldn't get a hold of it, and Bowles tipped it away along with Stinchula. Unfortunately, we're staring at the back of somebody's head. But you saw most of what had happened, and there comes the crowd. And that crowd, fortunate, they would have been really upset because they cost 
Their team attack at the end by storming the court. And I'll tell you what, that's a crazy finish right there. <laughs> you don't see that very often. No, never. I've never seen it. And uh, it's really kind of a nightmare of a finish. So Herndon falls short, 63 to 62. And they see their season end for George Costa, Helene Shane, John Davis, and Katie Blondin. I'm Andy Hayes. We'll sign out. We'll come back with game number two here in a little bit.